Hi there, how you doing? <laughs> My name is Brad Glover, and today I'm going to be painting this here armature that I've lovingly converted up. I'm going to be painting it like this other night. I've not quite finished, but um, apart from this leg, it's all done. Uh, but that's the style that I'm going to be painting it in today. Um, but to make it a little more interesting, um, I'm going to take... Um, well, I can't really see from this angle, but I, I double shot of vodka <laughs> in between uh, each stage. So that's gonna be, that's gonna be spicy. <laughs> Honestly, I don't know why I'm doing this way, but um, maybe it's because I have no self-control, but uh, we'll see. <laughs> so what we're gonna do is we sprayed this um, with a uh, Militarum gray, I wanna say it's called. It's like the Games Workshop standard gray spray. And we've got some Ulthwan Grey, my favourite colour here. So we're just going to stipple away on all the mechanical bits, basically. So all these like leg bits and under all the armour. So what we're going to do... Stipple away like that, just straight over the top of the, of the spray. Okay, so now these bits are done. As you can see, like all these little bits, I went a little too heavy in some parts, but we can correct that. Uh, so these are all the bits that I want to be get this guy out. This kind of lighter purple colour here is supposed to be armour. So what we're going to do now that we've done the stippling is we're going to now paint all the armour um, in now. But first, a shot of... <laughs> God, why am I doing this? <laughs> okay, so obviously you can't see me do this, but you just have to, you know, just got to trust me. Here we go. <coughs> Christ almighty. That's... Yeah, that's, that's, that's for great. <laughs> right, okay, now that I've somewhat recovered from that, uh, we're gonna start filling in the armor. Now with some Screamer Pink, my Citadel color. We're gonna thin that down quite a bit. Before we start filling in all these armor panels. So anything that we want uh, the main sort of uh, pinkish purple color to be like on here, all these, these bits here. He's deeper purple. We're just going to paint with Screamer Pink, um, like we're doing now. Okay, so now that that's all uh, filled in, we're going to start stippling these bits of armour that we just painted. So we're going to get a 50-50 uh, Screamer Pink that we've just used, and then Emperor's Children, that on there, about 50-50 mix. And then once that's mixed together, uh, we're going to get uh, this sponge again. It's literally just some Games Workshop case foam that I use for my stippling. And we're just going to stipple on here get a bit of definition uh, to the armour. Uh, but before I continue, I've completely forgotten the premise of this video, which is to uh, have another shot. And I'm deeply regretting this already. <laughs> so, uh, shot number two, here we go. <coughs> oh. <coughs> oh, that's awful. Why did I choose vodka? <laughs> oh my guts! My guts! <clears throat> so yeah, we're just gonna <laughs> snipple on, on the armor, just like this. Pretty quick and easy. Oh god, why does vodka uh, so much? <laughs> okay, so now that that's done, we're gonna do another um, layer of stippling. This done with a uh, pure Ember Children. We can get some of that. And we're just gonna stipple it a little lighter on these same armor panels. Like so. Oh, but first, before I actually get into the layer again, <laughs> in between every shot, every shot, every, <laughs> in between every layer, rather, <laughs> I'm gonna be doing a shot, I'm getting it mixed up already, oh God. <laughs> Why did I agree to do this? I'm fully recording and editing this myself. I can stop this at any time. But yeah, I continue. So here we go, another one. <laughs> oh. Oh. oh, it hurts my eyes somehow. God. Ah, oh, the burn. Okay, so I'm gonna, <laughs> I'm gonna continue. Like I was, did I stipple this on? I mean, I could use an airbrush to do this, 
this kind of thing. But um, unfortunately, I'm not a virgin, so um, I can't actually do that. <laughs> right, so now that we've finished that uh, layer, uh, we're going to be doing some glazing. Uh, but before we do that, because I've finished the layer, I need to now do a shot. <laughs> So I put a bit of rum in it this time because the pure vodka was hurting my guts. <laughs> so, uh, some rum and vodka, a great mix. Here we go. <coughs> oh. Oh. oh God, it's worse. It's so much worse. Ow. <coughs> Like the video if you're also an alcoholic. Okay, right, so this glaze that we're gonna be doing, uh, it's a nice blue glaze. Um, I make it myself um, using Gaines Workshop uh, Lamy Medium, but also this um, Fleura powder. Um, so as you can see, it's sort of a, this nice uh, powder that I just add into the medium. Uh, people always ask me like how much I actually put in um, per like pot that you see here. Um, and I mean, to be honest, I put in like three or four like little scoops worth, but um, just put in like as much as you want if you're doing this like at home. Um, depends sort of how opaque you want it. I would probably just keep adding it until like you're happy. So that's what I do. So, I mean, it's gonna add this to um, all the, uh, all these mechanical parts from earlier that we did. Uh, so we're just gonna fill this all in here. Oh, look how satisfying that is. Uh, I don't know if it comes off like the same in camera, but in person, it's very satisfying. And to be honest, in hindsight, I probably should have done this maybe before the armor. Should I have? I don't know. Uh, <laughs> for some reason, this all this vodka that I've had is somehow having an effect on my system. Who knows? <laughs> Uh, so we're gonna slap some of this on. Uh, I'm gonna try not to get it on all the purple armor that I've now painstakingly uh, stippled on. Um, and yeah, so we're just gonna slap some of this on all around the, all these mechanical parts that we stippled over the gray that we sprayed on. And yeah, I thought I had more to say, but actually it turns out I don't. Okay, right, so the next layer um, is this nice purple glaze here which is basically the purple version of this, like I mentioned earlier, which goes in the medium. Um, I mean, put as much in as you want, measure that uh, with your heart. So <laughs> what we're gonna do is we're gonna put all of this on uh, all the all the layers that we've done so far. So both on the, uh, on the armor, like around here, uh, like so, uh, but also on the uh mechanical parts like this that we've already done the blue glaze over uh, so we're gonna do a nice big glaze over both of them uh which is a bit of fun isn't it um <laughs> why have i had so much to drink <laughs> oh god but before i continue <laughs> oh no <laughs> ah here's another shot here we go right why did i why why just why <laughs> Okay, here we go. <laughs> oh, Christ. Oh. Oh. You would think with more alcohol it'd be easier. <laughs> but it's what? Oh, it's worse. It's so much worse. Oh, well, if you're wondering why I got this shot glass, where well, you can get them at Warhammer World. Uh, it's pretty much the only place you can get them, uh, to my knowledge. So yeah, like like I said, we're just gonna put it on all these, all the pits of armor, like so. Just slap it, slap it all over. Um, and also all the uh, blue bits as well, like we've done before. And try not to pass out uh, from drinking. <laughs> God. Right, here we go. So we, we are all glazed and uh, ready to go for the next stage, I guess. Uh, so I'm gonna skip the like the, the blue trim and like the red glowy bits that I do, because uh, if you look on the one that's nearly done, all this sort of blue uh, stuff here and the red along here, I actually cover sort of in another video. So um, I'll link that one down below. Uh, I do that with like a non-metallic, uh, yellowy color it's basically the same thing but just with different paints uh so i'm not going to cover that here it's going to be a very long and arduous process there's a lot of stages in between 
And that's gonna be a lot of shots of vodka. <laughs> so yeah, doing that many stages will probably kill me uh, from alcohol poisoning. <laughs> So what we're gonna do, uh, we're just gonna focus on doing the, the bluey, bluey purple parts in here. So um, what we're gonna do is we're gonna get some bad and black. Oh God, we get some of that. We're really gonna thin it down a lot. Uh, until it's like super thin, thinner than I am. And uh, uh, we're gonna put that in some of the recesses. So we're gonna put that in like here, in like the rivets. Yeah, for the entirety of all this sort of bluey, purpley part, like all in here. I'm actually amazed I'm still able to keep a, a relatively steady hand. Oh, I'm, I'm, yep. Yeah. I need to have my. <laughs> I almost forgot. I'm putting it off. I've not had my shot for finishing the last layer. So here we go. Oh, I wish I'd forgotten to be honest, but here we go. Oh, 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 I hate it. I hate myself. What, why did I choose to do this? Oh, crap. Oh, no. Oh, oh, God. I regret so many things. I regret it so much. Ow. Okay, so you just, you just continue like you were. Oh, my God. This was such a terrible idea. <laughs> why did I do this? It's probably uh, because I'm an idiot. Oh, so I would say, talking from experience, uh, probably don't try this at home. Uh, <laughs> having this much, guys, severely. Okay, right, so I finished the uh, black lining on this area, at least. Uh, if I do it over the whole thing, it's gonna take me um, 100 years. So uh, we're gonna focus on this part for now so I can actually show you what I, what I do. But now that I've finished that layer, of course, it's another shot and I'm not I'm not feeling it but I started the video this way so I'm gonna finish it this way I'm gonna stick through all the way I'm gonna stick through all the way through and I'm okay so absolute no word of a lie the shot that you just saw on screen I took and then realized that I wasn't recording <laughs> so here is a brand new shot uh, to prove that I'm actually doing it. Put a little bit of rum in there so you can tell that it's a uh, a brand new shot. And we're going to do that now if it didn't record. Ah. <laughs> oh, how does it get worse every time? Oh, my liver. <laughs> right, here we go. So onto the final layer. So all we need to do now in this area here um, is highlight with some old wine gray and then thin it down quite a bit before this alcohol that I've just taken into my system uh, hits me too hard. <laughs> like so. Same with uh, this, these parts over here. Literally the same thing. Basically, I would just edge highlight the entire model off and gray. So this process takes way longer than everything else building up to this combined. So if you're doing this at home, uh, settle in. It's going to take a while. So this is probably the main reason that the uh, other night has taken me about um, two months to finish. So who knows when the actual army will be fully completed. So you can kind of see like, you know, where I'm going with this. And uh, you know, once I've had highlighted like the entire model under me or the, uh, all the black lining, it tends to look like this when it's done. Uh, so with all these uh, nice lines and whatnot, but the uh, freehand that I'm gonna do in a another video, I might even do a series on uh, the different kinds of freehand that I do. Uh, so you know, look out for the look out for that. But until then, uh, I've finished another stage. So you know, know what that means. <laughs> it means one final shot. I'm gonna get out of the way, and then that'll be it. Don't need to worry. 
So here we go. Cheers. <coughs> oh. <laughs> oh. Oh no.